Doing. So the panel switch has these really interesting motors. They are a AC and DC motor, but it's actually just two motors, a separate DC and an AC section in the same housing. And we have quite a collection of spares here. And unfortunately, every one of our spare motors is out of commission. So for various reasons, they're out of commission. I decided to take it on myself to try to fix a few of them so that we have some spares again. Um, one of the main reasons they seem to go bad is uh, old wire. You can see how horrible and crusty. This is the DC cable here um, for one of them. And because the uh, of the way the cable is connected on the inside of the motor, we have to take the whole thing apart in order to replace the cable. And we don't have all the tools to do that, so I'm having to find the tools. Like everything here at the museum, it's a fun and interesting project. This is the rotor from one of these motors that I have apart right now. So you can see the DC winding here and the commutator and then the front end of it is just a standard squirrel cage style uh, AC induction motor. Interestingly, the way these were built, because they have the AC and the DC part, there's no starter winding on the AC side. So you have to use the DC end of the motor to get them started and then once they're running you can turn on the AC and they'll keep spinning on that. And then there's a little solenoid on the back that actually lifts the commutator brushes away from the commutator when it's running on AC so that they don't wear out. It's another problem we have with these motors is a lot of them have the commutator brushes completely worn out and I'm not sure if we have very many spares. We have a few but probably not enough to fix all these motors. That'll be another challenge just to find the source of commutator brushes. What else do you want to know? So these motors have a couple of very interesting plugs on them. This is a 240 volt AC plug and you can see that the blades go sideways from a normal one. And this is the 48 volt DC plug, but it turns out that this is exactly another style of 220 volt grounded AC plug um, that has an official specification and is the American plug that the Australians copied for normal power outlets in Australia. So the good news is that we can still get these. We just order Australian power plugs for this side. And this AC plug is something that's still available in the United States. OK, so this is one of the motors in action here. And you can see that it has a shaft coming out here that goes to this transmission. So we have to go around the back side, see what these are used for. The motor through this transmission drives this vertical shaft that goes all the way up to the top of the rack. And there are these rotating plates here. And there's a solenoid on each of these things, which are called what, Sarah? Um, sequence switches. Sequencers, or sequence switches, yes. So each of these sequence switches can be activated by a solenoid that pushes this plate against the other plate and causes it to rotate. And each of these uh, little disks either makes or doesn't make contact on its particular switch at each step. So as it's sequencing around, it's basically a finite state machine that uh, has 18 possibilities. So the other thing that the motor does is drive the panels, which is the thing that gives the panel switch its name. Down at the bottom, there's another shaft that runs this way. And there are a pair of solenoid-driven clutches. Uh, there's a fast clutch. 
that one's not connected to a rod. So let me reset this here. So there's a fast clutch, which is the upper one that drives the rod quickly, and then there's a slow clutch that drives it more slowly. So these are the rollers, and they're actually cork-covered rollers, and the solenoid presses this <coughs> little slot against the roller in order to raise that rod, and then once the rod is at its position, then these little contacts here can clamp shut and make contact with a particular outgoing line. The lines are all wired across that way, horizontally.